What sounds like good advice but isn't? Always stick with family blood is thicker than water. Just because someone is blood related doesn't mean you should keep them around. Marry a doctor so you can live a better life. My parents were never like this but I had aunts and uncles who would tell their kids this regularly. Just do what you love. It sounds great but a lot of people aren't good at what they love. It's important to do things you love but find a way to make a living too. Want that job? Just keep calling to check on the position. It ingrains you in the hiring manager's mind and makes them consider you more when your resume makes it to the top of their stack. How it really works. The manager goes through the stack of resumes, finds yours, and throws it out, then sends you a polite rejection email. You're meant to think the squeaky wheel gets the grease. But in reality, they just replace the wheel. If you get a job doing what you love, you will never work another day in your life. Pretty quick way to murder all your favorite hobbies and leave yourself with no means of escape or unwinding in your personal time. Happened to me when I transitioned from meditative painting to freelance artist. Biggest advice I give to aspiring artists, especially those who love drawing all day long and do nothing else. Before going into art full-time, find a love for something completely unrelated to it. Being bullied, just ignore them. Just be yourself, at heart. This isn't bad advice, but it is too vague to really be useful to someone who needs it. Better put, be cognizant that you want to make a good impression but don't do it in a way that misrepresents who you are or makes you uncomfortable. Try everything at least once. Any advice that doesn't include nuance is bad advice. Any advice followed without honest, self-assessment, is bad advice. Nothing is more important than family. Live each day like it's your last. See? Dying people can do this because they don't have to deal with the consequences of their actions. You do. Edit. Thanks for the awards. I'm somebody who survived what I thought was a heart attack. You would think that my brush with mortality would make me think that time is precious. And it is but looking at how people die even in developing countries it's bad advance. R. I. P to my inbox. That which doesn't kill you. Makes you stronger. Never give up. Sometimes you do need to give something up emo. Edit. OMG thank you kind redditors for all the awards and upvotes. Talk to our. They want to help you. Calm down. Okay first of all. Don't go to bed angry with your significant other. Sometimes you just need to sleep on things and take time to cool down. Especially if you're like me and grouchy AF when you're tired. Don't try to force a resolution to a conflict. Never give up. Know when to give up. Just be positive. Forgive and forget. Always forgive. But forgetting only tells the person that you don't value yourself enough to not allow it to happen again. So no, I will forgive you and remember how you screwed me over, so that you can't do it to me again. I hear some people say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But I've seen the nearly killed and that just couldn't be much wronger. Stop crying. Trust your feelings. Dangerous so-called advice. As someone with anxiety, I often have to fight against my own feelings. Or rather. To keep them from controlling me. Not that our feelings don't matter or that they're never correct, however. They can and often will be extremely deceptive. And going based on your emotions alone is unwise. Sometimes. The answer is outside yourself. Not inside. I can't tell you how many times my mother has had to help me keep different situations in perspective. Eat all the food on your plate. Follow your dreams. Marry your best friend. Not someone you're passionate with because passion fades. You'll be comfortable. And that's what really matters. Which is all well and good. Until you realize five years down the line that your sex life sucks and your partner has found someone they are passionate with. Now you're out five years. A best friend. And a partner. The truth is. There's no right answer to this. Marry the person you want to be with. If you want passion. Get passion. You want comfort. Get comfort. Just make sure you're on the same page with your partner. Don't be a quitter. There are definitely times when you should quit. Wear two condoms for double the protection. Do work you love. Should be. Do work that doesn't kill you and pays the bills. Broke. Just be yourself. Woke. Be the best version of yourself. Just be yourself. Love conquers all. Don't get me wrong. 
Love is very important. But love is the common denominator all your persisting romantic relationships should have. A relationship isn't special just because you love the other person or they love you. Just because you love someone or they love you, doesn't mean you have to. Or should. Put up with their bullshit or worse. If you don't employ your head and heart in equal measure. It's going to be a difficult life. 1. Let me tell you about this timeshare. Great investment. Think about all the money you'll save on vacation. 2. Buying a home. Make sure you buy the home of your dreams. The biggest most updated one you can't afford. You only live once. Can't find what you live within your budget? Well, buy a shithole at your budget limit and flip it. Of course. Don't include maintenance, incidentals, or a safety net into your exercise. There's so many more. Adulting. In the US at least. Sucks. It's a minefield of bad or outdated advice and outright scams. It's exhausting. To anyone with mental health issues. Just get over it. Hard work pays off. My dad has worked hard his whole life. Ask him if that's all it takes. Listen to your parents for they know what's best for you. If you don't tell your partner absolutely everything then you don't have a good relationship. Wear a fedora to make yourself look more attractive. The majority of stuff posted on our life pro tips. Respect your elders. Not all elders deserve to be respected. Hang in there for people with depression. Don't let it bother you. You're entitled to your emotions and expressing them in a healthy way is paramount to good mental health. You can only die once. To help combat coronavirus add some ammonia to bleach for cleaning solution that will kill 100% of the virus and other germs. Treat people the way you want to be treated. No. Treat people the way they want to be treated. As an introvert, this took me an embarrassingly long time to work out. Listen to your elders. 